So you're thinking about moving to Greenbrier, Arkansas. We'll sit right there because in today's video, we're going to talk about everything Greenbrier, Arkansas. We're going to talk about housing. We're going to talk about affordability. We're even going to talk a little bit about the school systems in the area. But stay tuned because in the end of the video, we're going to tour several homes in the famous Republican Valley Estate subdivision in Greenbrier, Arkansas. We're even going to talk about a couple of the lots that are currently for sale out that way also. But you're probably wondering, Logan, why are you sitting on a four-wheeler touring homes? Well, I'm sitting on a four-wheeler because in Arkansas, everybody's neighbor owns a freaking four-wheeler. I mean, we've got four-wheeler parks everywhere in Arkansas. It's off. But hey, without further ado, let's get after it. My name is Logan Wilmington. I get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you who are looking to make a smooth transition out to the central Arkansas area. So whether you're looking to move in a day, a week, a month, or even a year, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email so that we can help you make a smooth transition to the central Arkansas area. So right now we're in Matthews Park in Greenbrier, Arkansas. Now we've got a little pond over here. We've got a play area. We've also got a bunch of walking trails, but you're probably wondering, Logan, why would I want to move to Greenbrier, Arkansas? Well, you move to Greenbrier, Arkansas if you want that good old country living. What I mean by that is maybe you want a little bit of acreage. Maybe you want a really good bang for your buck on your home they've got some beautiful new constructions out this way that we'll check out later on in the video but really you know you've got that country living and you're only a few minutes away from a store but you don't move to Greenbrier if you're wanting a big nightlife uh, kind of party vibe in that case you'd want to move more towards Conway or out towards Little Rock area uh, and Conway is still only a 15 minute drive away so you've got all your big Sam's Clubs uh, your large Walmarts all that stuff out that way now Greenbrier does have a couple Walmarts a couple Dollar Generals and a few restaurants but it's really not a huge city. You know, over the past few years, its population has gone from 3,000 all the way up to 6,000 people. So you're probably wondering, Logan, why do you keep talking about Conway, Arkansas so much in a video that's about Greenbrier, Arkansas? Well, Conway, Arkansas is your neighboring city. Conway is the place where you're going to go when, when there's the big things that you need when you're looking for a Best Buy or Sam's Club. You're going to go over to Conway, or maybe you'll drive all the way out to Little Rock, Arkansas, which is the capital city, which is roughly an hour to 45 minutes away. Um, but Greenbrier, Arkansas is really a hidden gem in central Arkansas. This is where you come if you want the most bang for your buck on maybe a new construction build on a bunch of acres, or maybe it's a home that's already been lived in a little bit, but it's on a hundred acres. This is where you can get that, and this is where the prices make sense for you to purchase that. When I say the prices make sense is that, you know, in certain areas of Arkansas, you can pay up to $20,000 an acre. But here in Greenbrier, it's significantly cheaper. But right now, we're gonna go check out a few new construction homes in the Republican Valley Estates neighborhood of Greenbrier, Arkansas. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I told you guys that we were gonna tour different homes inside of the Republican Valley Estates subdivision. First one is 10 Republican Valley Drive. Now, it's sadly not located inside of the gates that you see of the Republican Valley Estates subdivision, but it is still a beautiful home, and I'm super excited to check it out. But follow me, let's take a look. So as we're outside of the home, we've got a beautiful brick accents and then followed by lots of wood accents. And then we've got lots of hints of white on this home. Now, the outside of this home is a, gives a very grand feeling, especially with the entrance coming up. But let's check out the inside of one of these homes in the Republican Valley Estates subdivision in Greenbrier, Arkansas. Now, the first thing I want to mention as you come into these double doors to the home is you've got these beautiful quartz countertops they've got a few little gold accents inside of the countertops which i absolutely love but right here you've got a spot for your refrigerator but this is super cool come over here so inside of here you've got a hidden walk-in pantry this is super sweet and then when you make your way back out of the hidden pantry you're gonna see you've got a microwave and I really like how the microwave is almost hidden in this home. It's built into the cabinets. And then as we walk around, we've got more of these beautiful quartz countertops, smart appliances, a beautiful range. And then the builder did an amazing job picking out the fixtures in this home. And then as we move back behind me, we've got another fixture. Now this is where your dining room table would go in this home. But let's go check out the other side of the home. This home is massive, by the way. So right here, you've got your living area. You've got the electric fireplace. And then as we make our way back this way, we've got an office or another bedroom. So voila, you've got a little walk-in closet right over this way. You've got the built-ins in there. And then as we make our way through the home, we've got two more bedrooms out this way. So bedroom number one, and then 
Follow me, follow me, follow me. We've got bedroom number, I guess, three, right? One, two, and then three. And then once again, this bedroom also has another walk-in closet, right this way with built-ins. And then finally, last, most definitely not least for this end of the house, we've got a double vanity with granite countertops in the bathroom. And then one thing that I really like is they've got this door right here that separates the actual toilet from the bathroom. And you've got a shower right behind this wall. And then this leads right into the other bedroom. But let's check out the other side of this beautiful home. And as we're walking back through the living room to check out the other side of the home, I wanna mention these beautiful windows. So think about it, you've got your couch right here, you've got a big screen TV this way, and you can see out into your yard, you've got a cow pasture out back behind the home that I guess word is in the neighborhood is that they do not plan to build out that way. But something else that I forgot to mention is look at these brick accents on the island. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I absolutely love the taste and the different fixtures that the builder put into this home. But let's check out the primary bedroom. We'll wrap around, check out the laundry room, and then we'll go into the garage. So as I walk around the corner, we're coming into the primary bedroom. It's a really spacious primary bedroom. And once again, you can see the beautiful cow pastures out back. You've got the matte black accent fan in this room. And then you've got the door to the one and only primary suite bathroom. So as we walk into the primary suite bathroom, we have got dual vanities. So one on my right and one all the way over here on my left. Back behind this vanity, we've got walk-in shower. So inside of this walk-in shower, you've got the hexagonal towels, hexagonal tiles, and then you've got the shower head rainfall, or you've got the rainfall shower head, and then you've got the regular shower head. So that is super cool. And then you have a standalone tub. And once again, look at these fixtures that they used on this home. I love it. I love it. So we've got the other vanity right here. And then we've got a super, super spacious walk-in closet. So I'm in here. We've got built-ins all throughout this closet. It's huge. My hands aren't even touching the walls right now. And I'm a big guy. I'm like six foot tall. So when we walk back through here, though. I want to mention that we have got the laundry room. See, one thing that I love about the laundry room, it's located right next to the garage and you can access it from the primary suite. But right here, we've got a sink, more granite countertops. And then I love the black accents on all the cabinets. And as we roll back around over here, this is where your washer and dryer would be. And you've even got storage above your washer and dryer, which I love. I love it. I love it. But let's leave the laundry room and let's head more towards the garage. So as we head over here towards the garage, you've got more built-ins on this wall to your left. Uh, these built-ins are great for if you come inside, you know, kids hang their backpacks there, hang jackets, whatever you need. You've got another half bathroom right here with the granite countertops. And then, follow me, follow me, follow me. We're headed into the two-car garage. Check out the two-car garage, it's huge. You can fit your Corvette right here. You can fit your, you know, you know, your SUV right here. This home is absolutely perfect. I love all the accents and all the work that they put into this home. But let's check out one more thing about the garage that I wanna mention. They put the hot water heater in the garage. Now in Arkansas, this is pretty standard on all your new constructions. They tend to put the hot water heater in the garage, but this is great at preventing uh, any sort of major water damage. And then in the garage, they also bricked around the bottom the bottom of the garage. So this will help protect against any potential water damage uh, in this beautiful home. And this is just one of the beautiful homes that we're gonna tour in the Republican Valley Estates subdivision in Greenbar, Arkansas. Let's go check out another right now. All right, so right now we're getting ready to tour the second home in the Republican Valley Estates subdivision. This home is called Embro Manor. It is 2,500 square feet, well, a little over 2,500 square feet. This home is going to have insulated floors in the bathroom, but I guess I can't tell you guys too much, but let's get inside, let's take a look, and let me tell you all about this beautiful home. Once again, this home is a new construction, so we're not completely finished, but we're getting really close. We've got a grand entrance. I love this, you can hang pictures on the wall, or whatever the heck you people hang on the walls nowadays. But let's come over here to the right a little bit. I wanna show you, this home is huge. The open concept is just beautiful here. This home is nearly 2,500 square feet, say that again. Right here's where all your appliances are gonna go in your kitchen. You've got an awesome kitchen island right here. And right back here is where your dining room table would be. So the kitchen is absolutely huge, but we're gonna move over into the walk-in pantry and the half bathroom. So 
To my right, you've got a half bathroom. And as you move back towards me, we've got a huge pantry. This thing's massive. This could really be like a small bedroom if you wanted it to be. Um, but it's a huge pantry and we absolutely love that. And we love that feature about this beautiful home. I wanna show you guys a little bit more about the living room area. So in the living room, we're gonna have our fireplace right here. This is where you put your big screen TV. And you've even got a beautiful view out at this, what's the right word for it? Cow pasture. So once again, just like on the other home, if your dream is to one day pet a cow or see a cow in person, this might just be the home for you. But let's go back here, let's check out the three bedrooms on the far end of the home. So as you follow me, where you're gonna reach a hallway and it's gonna lead you to three bedrooms and one full bathroom. So bedroom number one is right here. This is the smallest of the three. And as you follow me in, you've got a view of the road from this right here. Small bedroom would make a great office. And then you've got a closet right here. Now the bedrooms do only get bigger from here. So as we push back this way, we have got a bedroom or office, whatever you want the room to be, number two. So this room, a little bit bigger, and we've got a walk-in closet in this one. So, bada bing, bada boom, walk-in closet. And then, if you continue to follow me, we've got the full bathroom this way. So, I'll let you guys follow me in here. We'll tour this. There's not a whole lot done, so you gotta picture it with me, okay? So we've got the dual vanities right here, and then we've got a shower. Super simple. We've got a toilet right there also. Um, we've got a shower right there. And then we're gonna pull back out through the home. And one thing that these builders make a really big deal about is making sure there's ample storage space in the home because no one wants to buy a new home and not have a place for all your shit. Well, right here, we've got a closet in the hallway. And then this is one of, this is the biggest of the three bedrooms or what feels like the biggest of the three bedrooms. Um, so right here, we've got a beautiful view out here. If you have a kid who loves cows or maybe you love cows and you don't wanna live in the primary suite, You've got a beautiful view right here. And also, right outside this door is the, is the back porch. So the back porch is right there. And then we've got another walk-in closet. This thing's definitely bigger than six feet. Good size walk-in closet. I really like that. But let's walk all the way back through the home and check out the side of the home that the primary bedroom is on. So follow me, follow me. And once again, if your dream is to one day pet a cow, this might be the home for you. You've got beautiful views of cows. Maybe you could convince them to purchase fluffy cows and you could look at them all day, every day and, and just enjoy it. But right here leads out to the garage. We're gonna look at that in a second. Keep following me through another huge hallway, right? So think about it, you've got all this furniture you need to move into this home. The hallways are massive here. I love that about this home. And then right inside this way, you've got the laundry room, but we're gonna wrap all the way around to the laundry room. You can go from the primary suite to the laundry room in this home. So, this is the primary suite, really big. Once again, you've got a grand view of all the cattle back there overlooking all the farmland. If you're a sucker for views, you might as well just sign the dotted line because this is the home for you. But we're gonna keep on pulling back through this home. We've got a safer room. So it's not a safe room, it's a safer room, but essentially this is a closet and the room was bolted down to the foundation. So all the wood was, was bolted down to the foundation that way. So in theory, if the foundation isn't moving, that room's not moving. But right here, we've got dual vanities and then we'll come back through this part of the home. We've got, this is where your toilet's gonna be. And you've got a massive six by six foot shower, right? This thing's pretty darn big, but something really cool about this bathroom is that you're gonna have heated toilet seats and all the floors are gonna be heated. So when you wake up in the morning, gotta go to the bathroom, right? You've got heated floors. You're not gonna be all cold in here. I love that about this home. And we're gonna continue pushing back through here. And you know how I told you that the laundry room wrapped all the way through? Well, this is our laundry room. We're gonna have a sink right here. We're gonna have laundry room. We're gonna have built-in cabinets in here. But as we continue to push back through the home, I'm gonna show you guys the garage. Now this home does have a beautiful, Two car garage, also the hot water heater will be located outside of the bathroom. So hot water heater right here. And then a huge two car garage. We have got a awesome porch that overlooks the beautiful cow pasture. But this yard has an almost flat yard. It's not completely flat, but it's pretty close to flat. So you could really put a big old pool back here. Now keep in mind that the lot is 0.97 acres. So essentially it's one whole acre. So it's a really good sized lot out here for this area of Greenbrier. But if you want more information about this beautiful home, 
there's a whole lot of stuff that I didn't even talk about yet because honestly, the list is just so long, I couldn't even remember it. But I'll leave a link to a website with all of that information down below. Right now, we're gonna go check out some of the other lots and some of the other areas for sale in Greenbrier, Arkansas. So I told you guys that we we're gonna to be touring different homes at different price points inside of the Republican Valley Estate Subdivision in Greenbrier, Arkansas. But maybe, maybe just these homes aren't for you. Maybe you want a little bit more of a, you want to put your own taste, you want to put your own touch of elegance on the home that you want to build. Well, we've got several lots here that are for sale also, and I can recommend you a bunch of amazing builders in the area if you're not from central Arkansas. But seriously, we've got a bunch of lots that are ready for the builders to begin building uh, once their spec homes are complete. Or maybe you come in and you want to build just your gorgeous, fabulous, most amazingest dream home in the Republican Valley Estates of Greenbrier, Arkansas. Now to wrap up this video, I brought you to the Greenbrier, Arkansas High School to show you how big it is. So right here we've got two field houses and then the main high school back behind us. Now Greenbrier has a total of four elementary schools, one middle school, one junior school, and one high school <laughs> right outside of Busy Road. So that's why it's getting kind of loud. Um, but Greenbrier has got several schools in the area. I'll leave a link down below for more information about those schools. But there's a lot of things to do here in Greenbrier. You've got a little bit of shopping, you've got a little bit of restaurants, but really for all the fun, you're definitely going to want to travel out towards Conway. But if you love outdoor fun, maybe you go a little bit further north. You go up towards Clinton, Arkansas. There's some hiking trails and good things that way. But Greenbrier, Arkansas is definitely a place for you if you're looking for somewhere where you can enjoy outdoor living, but you're still close to Conway, Arkansas, meaning you're close to all the creature comforts in the area. But if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe so you can be the first to know about everything Central Arkansas related. I'll catch you guys next time on the channel.